Today we're going to talk about the Martin Carryback Capture System. Now, the Carryback Capture System is what you see mounted to this vehicle. It's also known in the trade industry as a scavenger conveyor. Now, there are several types of these conveyors on the market. There's A, there's a vibratory type. Uh, B is a, is a chain driven type of unit. And then there's a unit like what you see here is driven by a hydraulic cylinder and it's a RAM type of unit. Now, scavenger conveyors or this Martin Carryback Capture System its main use is in underground mining applications where there's uh, a very short distance between your belt and the, and the floor, so to speak. Now, any, any amount of carryback that would build up and get into your rollers and, and into the conveyor structure and cause problems, um, these, these units have, have been used to where you can mount it underneath your conveyor, the rams or, or the flights or whatever it may be would push that material into your hopper or bin or whatever you're, uh, wherever you want that, that carry back that's falling off the conveyor to go. Now this particular unit is a modular unit. It's, uh, it's available in, in belt widths from 36 inch wide to 72 inch wide. And it's, and it's available in lengths uh, of an 8 foot unit is what you see here up to 24 feet in length. And that the, the lengths change by just adding a adding four foot modules to this unit. It's powered by a 230, 460 volt, three phase motor that runs a, a hydraulic cylinder at it's rated at 3000 PSI. This, this particular cylinder has a four foot stroke and it's gonna move these rams forward, pushing any material out to the end. When it reaches the end and, and, and the stop is set at 1600 PSI, so when it reaches that point, it automatically retracts. Now when we turn this on, you're going to see how these blades will, will ride the length of, of their four foot module. They'll go underneath this keeper and when the unit retracts, the, the blades themselves lift up and ride on the top rail so you don't pull carry back back to where, where you started from in the first place and it'll drop down into place. Now this will cycle back and forth as many times as you want it and it also has a speed adjustment so I think we have it set at uh, one pass is 30 seconds you can set it to a whole wide range of, uh, of settings in order to meet your, your particular needs. So go ahead and turn that on, Travis, and we'll let it, uh, we'll let it process. Again, that's one pass. We are pushing two blades with this cylinder, and as you as you can see, it only moves four feet, gets to the end of its of its stroke, and then retracts all all by itself. Now, like I said, we just add. If you want to add to this unit, the base unit comes as, as an eight foot, just like you see here, and you can add on up to 24 feet. Now, to make it as a as a system, we also offer a series of belt cleaners. You can see a series of Martin Engineering uh, secondary belt cleaners that are mounted to this particular unit. We have brackets that will mount on the unit itself, or the cleaners can also be installed traditionally onto the, the stringer of the conveyor belt. Um, a couple of, uh, couple of features or a couple of uh, things to note, you only need 13 inches of clearance from where this unit would sit on the ground to where uh, the ram sits on top. So you got 13 inches of clearance. Um, the plates are available in, in standard mild steel or you can, you can request the stainless steel uh, bed plates. All the, all the plates in between uh, are, are gasketed so you're not going to be raining material down on, on anyone. Um, if this, this unit can be mounted on the ground like I spoke of earlier, it can also be mounted underneath the conveyor belt. Now, in typical applications you're going to run parallel to the conveyor belt as you would see here but there's also times where you could run it 90 degrees you could run it at an angle it's basically a system to where you can you want to the carry back that falls off the conveyor as it falls from the, the secondary cleaners is captured in a in a in an area and it's moved to wherever you'd want it to move to you know it reduces your manual cleanup time it reduces uh, um, it's got safety concerns when you're walking underneath a, a conveyor belt to do any of the cleanup as well as all the all the problems that the stacked up carryback uh, gives to conveyors when it gets into the moving components